Aquarius, happy full moon in Gemini. The grid behind me that we're going to talk about is for an Aquarius rising, but my readings can always be watched by an Aquarius sun as well as an Aquarius moon to receive the vibrations of the, the reading. But um, the question that I have for you is, what, who's your favorite superhero? What are their superpowers? What universe is your favorite superhuman? And this can be the Marvel universe, this can be DC, no judgment. Um, this could be, you know, the Harry Potter world. I've been living in Tolkien's world, like living and breathing in Tolkien's world. I just downloaded the Silmarillion for an audiobook. Like I'm in it. And so choose your own adventure. What are your favorite superheroes? What if you have one, what are their superpowers? Do they, you know, are they like Superman where they play human as Clark Kent and then they change and you never really know who it is? Or is it like, um, who was it, Iron Man where you knew who it was? Or was it in a Tolkien's world where you knew that that archetype had certain skills and you knew that the elves would be elvish and you knew that the dwarves would have their superpower, that the hobbits would be simple but that had their skill sets for the land and a simple life. So. The reasoning that I talk about this, and we've mentioned Pluto going into your sign for a while now, and that I've called you the um, King Arthurs that can pull Excalibur out of the stone. And I never want that to be something that stresses you. I never want these superpowers to be something that you're like, very Harry Potter, like, I'm no wizard, I'm just Harry. I'm just Aquarius. I'm just, uh, you know, the, the air sign. I'm the one that, you know, nobody really looks to for guidance, but why me? Why me? You know, it's the, the prophesized age of Aquarius that we're going into where, you know, all the top-down authority crumbles to the ground and it's power to the people and all the wonderful things. And it's a beautiful time. It's a beautiful time. We're just in the middle of the demolition of it. So astrologically speaking, the Sun, Mars, and Mercury are in Sagittarius, in your house of community, friendships, and wishes for the future. And we have the full moon happening in your fifth house of creativity, play, childlike spirits, kiddos, if, um, if you have children, and joy, and fun. So I want you to feel the fun. I don't want you to feel as though you are responsible for everyone because you're not. You're not. You just have superpowers. How cool is that? So maybe what I would love for you to do is during this full moon, release any fear that you're gonna have to be responsible, you have to save everybody all the time, and you know, there's a fight on the other side of the planet, and you know, like, like Batman constantly had to be going out every freaking night and fighting all this crime and doing all these things. It's not gonna be like that. It's not going to be like that. You're not the only Aquarius that exists on the planet. There are many Aquariuses. And every person on the planet has Aquarius somewhere in their chart. So every person on the planet is responsible for some fraction of their Aquarian life. But for a lot of the readings, I was highlighting this like straddling of Pluto at 28 degrees of Capricorn and Saturn at zero degrees of Pisces. Where it's just this like anticipation. What's gonna happen? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. You ask any light worker right now what it is and what's coming. We can, you know, some people will say it's a big flash of light. Some people will say, you know, just money pops up in the living room of everyone's houses. Uh, there's blue lights, you know, our light codes are coming in. Our higher selves are off at a, you know, galactic university and they're coming back with more information. We can only use our human terms and our human understandings of this beautiful blessing, this goodness that's coming for us. And we're in the middle of the fire. We can't see clearly. Like the parable, like this is where we are. It doesn't mean that I'm illiterate because I cannot read what's on my paper. It's just because I'm in it and I can't read what's on my paper. So I got to like view it from above to find in any way some safety and security and ground down as often as you can. Meditate, ground hug a tree, cold water, warm water, like go for a walk in the woods, go drive the back shore, do whatever you have to do to disassociate a little. But not check out, 
but not check out. I want you to say to understand the grandiose that's happening. The grandiose that's happening. And I have this somewhere on my Instagram page, this this because I drew this for a client once, and it was a teenage client where we literally had solved all of the answers to the universe, but it was view our lens. So I'll try to draw the picture for you. So this is you. This beautiful little light worker. The middle of the world. And this is infinity and the multiverse and infinite multiverses and infinity upon infinity and multi everything and like infinity for me, infinity for you, infinity for your cousin, your neighbor, everyone on the planet, billions of people, billions of infinite infinities. And you only have your brain to show you what you can handle of that reality. We're not meant to solve this. We just have to surrender to this is, you are, and that's all we can see in front of us. So if we need to release anything, releasing, uh, don't hang out with people that are not aligned um, and with no judgment with no judgment whatsoever, because what I'm finding is that that reality is literally real to them. Literally real to them. I have a dear friend that we don't spend as much time together anymore because we don't share the same values. And I don't wanna convince them of my values. I don't need to. I don't need to convince them that the world that I live in is, <laughs> they're like, when it comes to like um, the elites and the you know powers that be, my friend is like, you're crazy, Sarah. You're crazy. You're crazy. There's no like golden juice and there's no sign in your life away to the devil. And I'm like, that's your chosen world. And I don't want to convince you of that. That's the reality you live in. This is mine. I'm not trying to take from you. I just can't be around that because I can't watch the news and I can't listen to that music. But that's okay, because that's your world. It would be jarring for them to be in my world. Whereas I just, you know, don't listen to music that sells parts of my soul. That's literally it. And that's okay. That's my world. That's Some people eat gluten, some people don't. Some people drink coffee, some people drink tea. Neither of them are wrong. You know what I mean? What did I title your video? Superheroes, yeah. Yes, with great power comes great responsibility. Yes, heavy lies the crown. But there are other Aquarius beings, Aquarians, Aquariuses. There are other superheroes. You are not alone. Yeah, they get the super best friends, the Avengers, like galactic teams of beings. So spend time with those superheroes and they will share your same values. They don't have to set, have the same belief systems, but the same values, if that makes sense. Very, very different. Yeah. And let go of anything that used to be fun, but you know is really toxic. I love you, honey.